I just recently got into 3D printing and um, I thought I'd share what I've learned so far for others who might be trying to figure out what they want to do to get started. Um, so this is an unboxing review of the printer that I ended up with, which is a Quiddy iMates 3. Um, and I'll explain, you know, why I actually uh, decided on this printer and what I've learned so far. Um, first off, when I was looking at printers, um, one that was coming up a lot on different types of videos was this Creality Ender 3 Pro. Um, this is about $240 on Amazon, really inexpensive. Um, but then I was looking at reviews and while they were there were good reviews. There were a lot of reviews that weren't so great. Um, and so I was like, okay, well, maybe I, I can spend a little bit more and let's see what else is out there. Uh, so the other printer that I came across, and I ended up ordering this printer. This is an Allegro, Allego, Allegu, something like that, E L E G O O, Saturn, uh, because the reviews were really great. Um, this was a $500 printer. I figure it's about, you know, twice as much. It's got to be good quality the reviews are really good on it but it is a resin printer so i did actually order it and i ordered resin because i don't believe the printer comes with any and you know i ordered it at night and the next day uh, i started to do some research uh, on <laughs> resin printers and i wanted to make sure that oh i, I looked up actually what can i use for doing um printing things to be used for outdoor use and what i found out was on the resin printers. Resin printer is not for me, and probably not for you either, is that it's not for outdoor use. Um, it smells terrible the, when, you, when you print, and, um, and you have to wear gloves, and you have to do all kinds of extra things. Now, if you're doing miniatures and things that need a lot of detail, that's going to be a good um, printer for you, a resin printer. But for what I'm doing, what I think the majority of people are doing, is um it's not going to be a good printer you know you want to be able to quick print quickly you don't want it to be smelly um, originally i liked the fact that it was an enclosed uh, printer and then i realized why it's enclosed is because the the, the odor from it is just uh is, is bad right it's toxic and um and then the um, strength of what you're printing with the resin printer is, is not there so so it's back on to, I actually canceled that. I'm glad that uh, I used Amazon because it, it hadn't shipped yet. It was easy for me to cancel that. And then I started to research, okay, what printer should I be getting? I went back to looking at the Ender, Ender 3 Pro. And, um, you know, I came across this one, which is a Quiddy iMates. And what I liked about this, there's a few things in why I really like the printer. And, and I actually have been using it now probably for about four or five days, printing all kinds of stuff. And I really like it. I still, I think, even though I haven't actually used any other printers, I think this was a good printer for me. And one of the reasons is, well, it is enclosed, right? And so that's good. The, the One of the reasons for that was I was thinking about, like, kids and stuff sticking their hands in it or cats that I have in the room where I'll be printing that might, you know, get in the way and I thought you know it's good for me to have an enclosed printer and not the exposed type of printer like the Ender. Um, as well as I found out is that with some things you actually want the enclosure so yet you can't keep the temperature uh, the, you know constant and so and I actually have seen some videos where people with the Ender are pr purchasing uh, cages that you can enclose it so I was like well that's another reason why this iMates is good. The reviews are really good on it. And um, the other thing that I like about this printer is that um, the table does not move. So with the Ender, with the Ender, the table moves and the extruder, you know, where the filament is coming out of, that doesn't move. So the way I look at it is that means your whole model, whatever you're doing, is moving around and gyrating around so that you can line up the extruder to where you're printing. With, with the iMates or, or Quiddy, I think the whole line of Quiddy, um, it is the extruder that moves and the table stays steady and it just, it drops down. So instead of in the, like the, the ender where the table stays steady and the extruder comes up and the table just moves around, 
I just think it's a it was a better design. I like the fact that it's all enclosed like it is, and so far it actually has been performing, in my opinion, pretty well. Now um, I ordered the iMates S. There's also an iMate, uh, just a regular iMate. Um, now I was curious as to one says iMates O1 and iMate O2. I was like, oh geez, did the, is O2 somehow the next version? And it's uh, and, but but it's less. Uh, so I did some research on that, even actually after I ordered it, and um, they basically are the same. But the iMates is a little bit better enclosure. I think it's about the same size, and you get some extra parts that you don't get with the the iMate. And um, I saw somebody else who did an online review of of the two, and it is worth the extra things that you get with the iMates. If you know if you can avoid it, then it's worth it. Um, to pay you know a hundred dollars more for the iMates versus the iMate or the iMate S or versus the iMate. Um, so the the printer comes pretty much ready to go. You just have to unbox it. Now I didn't actually notice that actually in the booklet it actually gives instructions as to how to unbox it. Um, I w did not look at those for a while. I was like, okay, well, how do I get all the styrofoam out and and, and I, I realized that okay, can, I can move things around. Um, it comes well packaged. Everything seems, you know, good quality. So I'm doing the leveling. Um, I sped it up a lot. It's pretty simple to do. You just have this piece of um, film that you put in between the extruder and the bed, and you're just wanting a little bit of resistance. You hit the button. It goes to the next. It goes to the two front corners. It goes to the middle of the back do that and then you go to the very center of the table if at the center of the table it needs to be adjusted you can just adjust from the screen up or down a little bit now the screen while it has good information on it the resolution um, is not great that screen that's on the bottom that blue one there the resolution is not great so um, not least at least not from my eye so I often take a picture of it so I can actually blow it up so I can see what's what what's on the screen there so the screen resolution is not great but that's no biggie um, i'm mostly sending all of my um, prints over to the printer from my computer using wi-fi so i don't actually have to use that all that often except for just like leveling or changing out the filament so the red filament is what came with it and I bought some uh, PTG filament as well. Um, I started out printing with theirs, the PLA that, that came with it. I printed a bunch of stuff, and then I printed with um, the um, PTG. Um, at the same time, I also bought uh, different types of PLA, um, blue, and um, I printed with those later. So far, it was tricky. It was tricky. The, the best printing I had so far, which was the easiest, was with the f filament that it came with, which is just regular PLA. The PTG filament, um, I had some difficulty with that. Um, I did turn it up hotter. It's a different type of filament. I did use that because it's strong, or at least su it's supposed to be stronger. Um, and then the PLA Plus is what, um, that's what I'm actually printing with now, and I'll show you some stuff soon. <laughs> I don't know what it's making. It's a test fire. I thought it'd be something small. Well, maybe it is. It did make a line in the front. Yeah, so this is my first uh, print. This was a test print file that came on the SD card that came with the printer. I'm not exactly sure what this is, um, but it holds a pen. It print nicely, sharp edges. 
So that was my uh, that was my first test print. My second test print, or my second actual print of something that I uh, decided to print. This is a SD card toaster. So you put the SD cards on in in these two slots at the top, and it has a lever that pushes it up. And actually, it's functional. Printing it, it was it was functional right away. And here are a few other things. So here's the SD card toaster. I printed some squirrels holding nuts. Um, this is just a collection of a Minecraft guy, a squirrel, and some one wheels. This is a one wheel. The wheel actually didn't come out very well. Um, I made uh, some octopus, this uh, gecko, and a Pokemon thing for my daughter. I made a larger octopus because my daughter wanted a larger one. Um, this is the first practical thing that I printed. This is um, a fly pad for a electric unicycle. Um, I'm hoping this is strong. I made this out about a PT PTG filament, which is supposed to be pretty strong. So this is, uh, I found the, the design, and so I just printed these. Um, there was just one, and I just mirrored the image for the other side. And um, actually, they work pretty well. I'm not sure exactly how strong they were. I did ride with them, but I haven't gone down any large steps. Um, I'm hoping that they will be strong enough, uh, but we will see. Um, but this was really the first practical thing I've made, and I'll probably make some others. And uh, so this is with... Um, it's replacing kind of these Clark pads that used to sit lower. Um, so what I've done is I put the, the fly pads on because I think that they, they hold better. And I moved the, the uh, Clark pads up. These are Gen 3 Clark pads for a V11 in motion electric unicycle. So I moved them back up so the power pad part, which goes against the leg, would be higher up. And then I don't have to worry about the, the fly pad part of the Clark because of what I printed. So um, that's that was really the first uh, really practical thing that I've done that um, is something I will actually use in the real world. Everything else is kind of trinkets and toys and things that look cool and they're fun, but they're not, I haven't printed anything quite uh, too practical yet besides those. Anyway, that's all I have to share for today. Thanks.